The Hartford Circus Fire occurred on July 6, 1944, during a Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey circus performance in Hartford, Connecticut. The tragedy took the lives of 167 to 169 people and left more than 700 injured. It is considered one of the worst fires in U.S. history. On the day of the fire, the circus attendance was said to be between 6,000 to 8,000 people, mostly women and children. The cause of the fire is unknown, but back in those days it was common to waterproof the circus tent with a paraffin wax that had been dissolved in gasoline. This caused the flames to spread rapidly, and within eight minutes, the burning tent collapsed, trapping hundreds of spectators beneath it. As panic ensued, people flooded to the exits, but two of them were blocked by chutes that were used to bring the big cats in and out of the tent. This left two exits open that were jammed with people who began to pile up on each other. Most of the victims died from burns or smoke inhalation, but some were trampled to death, and others died suffocating under piles of bodies. More lives were lost as people began jumping from the bleachers in hopes they could escape through the sides of the tent. Many were also burned by the paraffin wax that began raining down from the ceiling. Six years after the fire, a man named Robert Dale Segui, who was serving a 40-year sentence for arson, claimed he was responsible for setting the circus fire after he had a nightmare about an Indian riding a flaming horse that told him to set fires. However, no evidence could be linked to the convict, and Robert Segui later recanted his confession. The circus accepted responsibility for financial damages and paid out almost $5 million to the 600 victims and families who filed claims against them. Five officials and employees of Ringling Brothers Circus were charged with involuntary manslaughter. Four were convicted. Although they were given prison terms, the four men found guilty were allowed to continue with the circus to their next stop to help the company set itself up again after the disaster. Shortly after the convictions, they were pardoned entirely. One of the men, James A. Haley, went on to serve in the U.S. House of Representatives for 24 years.